The next topic which we are going to do now is lines. What do you mean by line? If I draw this, what do you call it? What is this? It's a line, right? You have a beginning point, you have an ending point, right? But then the length is infinity. I can draw a small line, I can draw a big line. It's up to me. So basically what do you mean by a line? A line is a straight ray which is formed when we use a pencil or a pen. Okay. So now lines are divided in two categories. We will now see what are the different types of lines which we use. Okay. So the first one is the straight line. What do you mean by straight line? As the name suggests, any line which is drawn with a starting and an ending point in a straight surface, in a plane surface is called as a straight line. Can you see any curve in between? Are you able to notice any curve in these lines? No. So, it just goes on a straight basis and we usually use a ruler to draw the straight line. Now, if I draw like this, if I draw like this, if I draw like this, I suppose you would have learnt about these lines when you were in your smaller classes, right? What is this line called as? It's a standing line, right? It's a standing line. Or we can also tell this as your vertical line. Where can you see a vertical line? What is the shape of a window? So, window is usually a vertical line which is on the standing basis. What is this line called as? This is a sleeping line or in other terms it is a horizontal line. The floor, it's a sleeping base, right? The roof, it's again a sleeping base. So those are called as horizontal lines. Is it clear? What is this type of line called as? Good. This is called as a slanting line. Where can you see a slanting line in a real life? The roof, the triangle. Right? Whatever is there in the form of a triangle, the roof, this is called as my slanting line. Clear? So, when I draw a shape like this, can you tell me which is a straight line, which is a horizontal line and which is a slanting line? Now, to make it more simple, I will just name these lines. Can you tell me? So, my slanting line will be AB and AC. AB and AC will be my slanting line. Can you tell me which is my vertical line? So, what did I say? Vertical line is something which is a standing line. So, can you tell me the names of the lines? Good. So, B, D and C, E are my vertical line. This is my vertical line because it is my standing line. Can you tell me what is my horizontal line? As I said, horizontal line is your sleeping line which means BC and DE are my horizontal line. It 
is in a sleeping position, right? On a flat surface. So, BC and DE will form my horizontal line. BD and CE will form my vertical line. And AB and AC will form my slanting line. So, are you clear with the types of straight line? Can we revise what are the three types of straight line? The first one is the vertical line, the second is my horizontal line and the third one is my slanting line. Clear? So, coming to the next one, the next one is my curved line. So, as the name suggests, something which is drawn on a curve basis is called as my curved line. So, is, it, is this line and this line the same? No, this is drawn with a straight basis whereas here I am using the curves, right? So, curves are usually used whenever you want to draw a figure like a circle, cone or a cylinder. Tell me, in this shape, where can you find the curved line? Where is the curved line? AD and BC are my curved line. AD and BC are my curved line. For this particular shape, what is this? It's a ball, right? So, have I used a curved line or a straight line for this figure? Good, it's a curved line. So, this ball is also drawn using a curved line. So, are you clear with the two types of line children?